everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're outside The Pint, which is downtown Toronto. Like, if you're familiar, or literally downtown, the Rogers Centre's just over there, CN Tower's over that way, etc. Um, very nice sunny day here. And we're here to do their new pulled pork, monster pulled pork sandwich challenge. So it's basically a giant rendition of their pulled pork sandwich, which is on the menu. Um, so it's a great big Italian bun. We're talking multiple pounds of pulled pork, multiple pounds of coleslaw. We're talking like 10 pieces of cheese. I think it's supposed to be a pound or 10 onion rings. Then we have like a, a couple pounds of fries. Uh, it's a lot of food. Looks really good though. I know uh, we're gonna have 45 minutes to do the challenge. If we complete it, we do get the meal for free. And if not, I think it's about 60-ish dollars. So ultimately, let's go on in, see what we can do, have some fun. Really cool location being right downtown here. And uh, ultimately, wish me luck. I'll get you some more details if there is any and uh, let's go eat some food. Hi everyone, so here we are with the Monster Pulled Pork Sandwich Challenge. So this thing absolutely is a monster. Look at the size of this monstrosity. So not only do we have multiple pounds of pulled pork, which they make here, we have a pile of onion rings, like over a pound of coleslaw. We have pickles. We have a load of fries. This thing is definitely a big, big, big challenge, um, but it looks really good. Again, it costs about 60-ish dollars, but if we eat it, we get it for free, which is super, super cool. So ultimately, let's get started here. Um, that's about it. It's undefeated. I'm super excited to give this a shot. And uh, I mean, the location here, you just can't get better. It's like right down it's by the Rogers Center so it's like the perfect place to have a food challenge and like it's the perfect place when you're downtown Toronto so super excited let's get started here and ultimately let's get eating by the way everybody shout out the I eat animals merch line this is like this is just you want to see me eating a cow you can actually own a t-shirt of me eating a cow so uh, and it actually gives you superpowers I'm like instant food challenge wins instant eating abilities so it's all in the t-shirt it's nothing to do with me all right, so with that, I think restaurant is ready. We have a timer? Yes, sir. All right. So this will be interesting. Definitely a big bun. With that, let's get started. We'll save the count of uh, five, four, ooh, 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 Italian. Three, two, one. Let's go. I love coleslaw. Oh, the onion ring. Mm. Nice and spicy. Right. Next, I'm gonna get this pulled pork down. Covered in cheese as well. Ooh, nice and warm. Mm. Ooh, burning hot. Really nice barbecue sauce in that though. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at The Pint, literally right downtown Toronto. You cannot get much more downtown Toronto than this being right on Front Street. So here we are doing their Monster Pulled Pork Sandwich Challenge. So this is a giant version of their pulled pork sandwich that they have on the menu. And this one is giant, absolutely, absolutely giant. Um, so you have a couple pounds of pulled pork, you then have, I think it's like a pound and a half of coleslaw, you have multiple onion rings, we had a whole bunch of fries, and then on this huge, absolutely massive bun, um, in, in addition, there were also 10 slices of cheese on the pulled pork sandwich. Uh, so absolutely, I will say to this point, getting into the pulled pork, it was very tasty. Um, they actually make pretty much all the stuff there, which is super cool. Um, so, you know, cooking the pork, etc., etc. So if you've ever been to a Blue Jays game or went to see the, the CN Tower, you've literally basically probably walked right by this place. And they have a lovely indoor and a huge, awesome patio as well. Very delicious, though. 
I can play with. So you do have 45 minutes to complete this challenge, and I definitely think you uh, like you need that time. Um, this challenge itself is probably roughly around like seven-ish pounds. Um, the bread is definitely a big addition, and again, like we said, a couple pounds of pretty much all the ingredients. So definitely think that 45-minute time limit is very, very reasonable. And then, of course, if you complete it, you get the meal for free, so nothing wrong with that. Otherwise, you're I think the I think it was sixty dollars. It was roughly around sixty dollars, nonetheless. Um, I don't think you need advance notice to stop it in and do it. I still gave them advance notice, so if you are going to try it, maybe give them a call, but I don't think it's needed. All right. Most of the pulled pork down. Where are we at for time? 3.15. 3 minutes 15 seconds in. No complaints. I do love pulled pork. And animals, I may add. Get through some of this bread and onion rings. The barbecue sauce on the pulled pork, they call like a Kansas City uh, barbecue sauce, and I really liked it. It was sweet, had a little kind of like a smoky, still a little tangy, um, and with the richness of that pork, it went really, really well. I also, like having onion rings on a pulled pork burger is kind of unconventional, same as having pickles in my opinion, but having kind of like that little bit of crunch, the acidity of the pickles, in addition to that crispiness, creaminess of that coleslaw is actually really, really nice. So even if you don't want to try the challenge, I think just ordering their pulled pork sandwich would be a pretty nice, uh, enjoyable meal or a nice addition. Um, now when it came to the actual bread of this challenge as well, like we said, a great, huge, big Italian roll. And I figured this was going to definitely be kind of interesting getting in towards. As far as strategy, I figured I'd get the pork and the coleslaw down first. Those would be the easiest. Move on to the fries and then eventually tackle the bun, which I figured was probably going to be the hardest aspect. Ooh, crunchy. This is going to be interesting to eat. This bottom bun would be really easy though. So it's about those pork juices. Mm. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try to soften up a little bit. My favorite condiment on bread, water. Said no one ever. Five minutes ago. Okay. Get through some of these fries though. I do have ketchup. Mm. Very nice fry spice though. So it's not often that I would like really applaud a bun or a bread, 
but I have to say that bread was freaking delicious. It had such a nice crispy outside shell. It was absolutely fantastic. I did have to definitely add some water to it just as it was so crispy. I knew it was going to be incredibly difficult to eat, um, but I will say the bread was fantastic and like really, really fantastic. Um, the fries were actually really good as well. Again, something that I don't usually applaud, but the fry spice they used was just so delicious. It was like salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of cayenne, a little sweetness. I don't know what it was. All I know is it was absolutely delicious. Pretty much on the fries. Basically down the buns. I do like buns. Big buns. Some big buns. But everybody, that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Overall, a very delicious and sizable challenge. Definitely um, a very, very, very enjoyable one to this point. Um, so I definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend this as far as a challenge goes. I think it's very reasonable and it was definitely very delicious. All right. Reg, here we go. This will be a job workout. So with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Ultimately, let's tune on in, see what happens. Wish me luck, and let me know down below. Are you a pulled pork sandwich fan? Or maybe you prefer something like chicken? You know, hey, whatever. I'm, I'm pulled pork. Hashtag team pulled pork. Hashtag pulled pork. And that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. It is a lovely taste of bread. The inside is nice and soft. But definitely has a bit of a crust on it. So I'll work it out the best I can. I'll let it swim. All right, this one, ooh. This one be good. About 11 minutes in, I'm not too bad. <coughs> Just get through all the breads. Slowly but surely. Hopefully we'll get that first win. Much mm. easier. Probably about 14 and a half minutes in. Definitely a bit difficult with this bread, but it tastes really good. This bottom bun tastes like the pulled pork, so very, very delicious. So we're getting through it. Still hoping for that win. So let's keep on going. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry guys, that was a big burp. All right, let's get it done.
clean up all my shrapnel. Hashtag leave no doubt. We are done. 17 and a half. Thank you. So 17 and a half minutes, definitely a sizable, or you could say monster pulled pork sandwich. Very delicious though, love the flavor. That barbecue sauce was absolutely delicious. Pork, of course, very nicely soft and tender. Really like the coleslaw as well. The bun is really good, honestly, very quality bun. It definitely is a little difficult, to, a little harder to eat. Uh, it's, I mean, again, that's it. It's very delicious, high quality, but has a little bit of like, crust on it. But overall, very delicious. No complaints for that. We officially defeated the Monster Pulled Pork Sandwich Challenge. We also get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. Um, I wear black because I just have food all down my front. So comment down below if you also wear black when you go out to eat or when you eat. I swear, black is a lifesaver sometimes. Me and white, it rarely, rarely ever happens. I'm always covered in food. But everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. If you're ever in Toronto, definitely come check out the pint. Again, great patio, really cool inside. My first time actually in here, but it definitely won't be the last. And like I said, really close to like the CN Tower, um, or the Ripley's Aquarium, the Rogers Center, where the Blue Jays play, all the main attractions. So with that, buddy, until next time, that's about it. Appreciate y'all. If you want to try the challenge, well, give them a call. And uh, that's it. Have a lovely day. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day